Hi, and welcome back to the Micro Jobs course and Fiverr.com. And one thing that I want to say, let's get it out of the way early on, is that Fiverr is kind of a hit and miss. And there's going to be times when you're going to get very dejected. There's going to be times when you join and you take your time and you do all the nice things and you sign up and you put a gig forward and your gig is rejected. All I can say to you is please don't give up at that point and think, oh, this is a complete waste of time. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, persevere. That is the key. Read as much as you can. Follow this course as much as you can. And if all else fails, contact customer support and say, look, guys, I've now I've put forward three different types of gigs that I want to do or can do. And you've rejected all three. Uh, please, can you check my account and tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can get this right? I really want to work for Fiverr. And the reason why I say that is it seems to be sometimes that there's some, uh, I'm going to call them robots, uh, and they just seem to randomly reject different gigs because of keywords or because they feel like it. I'm not quite sure if this is a completely um, automatic process or is there is some manual integration here or what's going on. But I know for a fact that we've had gigs in the past that have been rejected and we thought, why the hell have they? Um, but there's no reasoning. Having said that, there are lots of gigs that get accepted all the time. And the other thing is, it's a bit of a myth. People say that to be on the front page of Fiverr, you have to be a top rated seller, um, you have to be a level two or whatever. That's also not true. Newbies do get listed on the front page of Fiverr as well. And I'm gonna show that to you now as well when we go through. But there's some things to really look out for because at the end of the day, you need to set yourself apart. You need to stand out. You need to leap out of the screen. You need Fiverr to want to have you on their um, website and, and building and providing services. Because remember at the end of the day, yes, this is your reputation, but it's also theirs as well. They've gone through some very dodgy times and I'm sure they'll continue to. Any site like this is always gonna attract um, bad publicity. But there is also a lot of good here if you actually look beneath the surface and bother to actually use the service for yourself, whether it's for buying or selling. So try to really stand out, uh, play around with things and just read what Fiverr tells you. It's so important. Um, just here on the front page at the moment, you'll see there's featured ones here now. Again, the featured, you can't buy a featured listing. It's a case of it, it will be chosen. And they say that when they're choosing you to be a featured listing, they're looking for things like what's your profile pick like, what's your gig picture like, that kind of thing here. I mean, these are actually gig pictures that you're seeing here. And as we go into them, you'll see them, you'll see more. But notice here, play video, play video, play video. All the featured ones here, all are videos. Now, when you're setting up a gig, you can either choose to uh, just have a, a profile image of what you'll do, or you can do video. And I would recommend 100% whenever you can, however you can, make a video of the gig. Even if you're providing a service for people, make a video of your gig. The reason why is that Fiverr loves video, people love video, they get to see you, they get to see what they're getting, it just feels more real. And I know you're doing a lot for a Fiverr, but think at this at the beginning, you really want to over deliver. And as you'll go through this course, you'll see the reason why I say that is over deliver right up front, work your backside off for the first couple of months, get those levels up, and then you can sit back a bit more and start to really reap the benefits of the potential extras that you could be charging. And if you're smart, you'll do it in the right way to make more money. So you can see here, we've got these are featured their videos. This is a message. And again, what's this doing? This picture here is telling the person that can see what they're getting. It says, I will write a message with chocolate. Well, you can see that's exactly what they've done. So make sure if you're using an image, it tells the person what they're getting. Don't just put a blank screen up with, I will write a message for you in chocolate. Actually do it. If that's what you do, do it. And that's exactly what this person's done here. A, it helps them get chosen to be on the front page. And B, it's clear the person is not confused about what they're getting. They know what they're getting before they've even watched a video if you've created one or whatever you're doing, they know what they're getting for their money. And if it's obscure enough, people will buy it. If it's clever enough, it's professional enough. There's different reasons why people come to Fiverr. And I'm gonna show you just a very small couple of samples of those types of people in a minute. So again here, a personal Christmas card. You can see it's Christmas card. Um, this person says they'll do a cute portrait. They're not using, but they've got a video, so you'll they'll explain it in the video. So as you can go through again, look, this is showing you what they're gonna do. Uh, you go through the p parts here. This one I'll recall memories, sort of putting a gathering of people together. So photographs, 
a retouch. You you know what you're getting with the money here. This guy's you can see he's obviously a professional. He's got a music studio there, and again, broadcast voiceover. So you can see this person's teaching you about horses. Well, here they are on a horse. So it's clear as to what they are doing. This guy's going to give you face to face. So if we, as we scroll down now, this one here, I want to start showing you some in a minute, but this one I'm going to come back to. This person joined Fiverr two days before we made this video, and they are on the front page of Fiverr. So you can get listed on the front page. Uh, when you read this, I will make you a fluffball bunny plushie. That's exactly what you're getting. It's a very professional looking photo and image. So you know what you're going to get when you spend your Fiverr. And Fiverr loves this. When you're very obvious about what it is your gig's about, you've got more chance of being featured. And as you grow and you go up the ranks, you've got more chances of being promoted in the ranks as well. So again, just reading what Fiverr tells you uh, on their customer support page, you've got knowledge base, and it tells you here about your profile picture. Your profile picture now appears on your collections icon, both in search and at the bottom of your collection page. You should know that editors check profile pictures when they consider promoting a gig and selecting top rated sellers. So promoting a gig, in other words, if you wanna get featured, one of the things they're gonna look at is are you showing a video? Are you showing an image? Does it look professional? Because if it doesn't, you might actually start losing out. So spend a bit of time at the beginning, not only to stand out, but also to have a professional looking image because that's really gonna help you. So what makes a great profile pick? It says here, a photo of yourself. Your profile page is how you introduce yourself to the community. Now I'll show you in a minute, there's an example of a guy on here who is a featured person and he's got gigs and his profile pic does not show a photo of himself at all or if it is him, he's dressed up and you can't necessarily see it's him. Um, but however, um, in his videos, you can clearly see it's him doing the videos. So it all comes together. You can bend the rules a little bit, doesn't necessarily have to be written in stone what they've got here this is a guide but make sure somewhere on the line you're showing people yourself it will really help you and it says here it helps you establish trust with your buyers and other community members again important when you're actually talking within the community if you stay hidden as mr anonymous you might find it harder to get promoted to a top rated seller later on a high quality image avoid posting photos that are blurry pixelated or distorted in any way and they say here some specs are that it's got to be a maximum size of one megabyte and the format is either JPEG, PANG or GIF. So that's all you have to know. When it comes to actually your gig photos, which is not your profile, it's your gig photo to show the gig. And again, I'd recommend here that you actually change the gig photos depending on the gig that you post. It says your gig photo is like a billboard that can be make or break factor in whether buyers click on your gig. Posting a unique and eye-catching photo or to represent your gig will help you increase sales and get more exposure. Duh. So <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, make sure it says here buyers scan the site and click on gigs that stand out. So make sure you stand out. The editorial team, yet again, they're highlighting here the editorial team will only promote gigs that show quality. So they're looking for you know, images that are 600 pixels wide by 370 pixels high. So make sure that's what your pixels are when you're uploading photos. JPEG files look the best. So whilst they say they take PAN, GIF and JPEG, I would recommend upload JPEG. It's easy enough to do. It's some, one of the most common photo formats. So use JPEG images. Avoid using images that you already use for another gig. So again, it's telling you keep them different, keep it fresh. And your image should be descriptive and relevant, blah, blah, blah. Avoid posting copyrighted protected images. They then go on to say, these are kind of good pics that we're talking about. So they're showing someone here, look, doing acrobatics with Fiverr on them, their actual body here. This person here you, is standing out. It says here you can even have an awesome graphic banner or poster made especially for your gig. Don't be afraid to try something unconventional. And they show you more here. And then they say here some examples of pictures that won't make the cut. So this one here, and as they quite rightly point out, it's a stock photo site. And better but still, the person didn't actually even buy the image because it's still got the watermark on it and it's still got their copyright image on it. So they didn't actually buy this image anyway. They just took it from somebody else's website. So they're not going to let you be promoted or become a top seller or even be featured because you're nicking it from somewhere else. Generic graphics don't say anything as well. They don't like those. And also gigs with images that look like a template you bought off the net or a stock photo. Uh, again, they don't want them. So they're telling you here as well, make videos work the best. If finding a great photo of your gig seems too difficult, don't panic, make a video. It's been proven that adding a video to your gig will boost your sales by 200%. Nothing beats selling it yourself. 
Don't be shy, get creative, show who you are and what you've got and you'll sell more. So they're telling you here how to stand out, how to be the best and how to get your product listed more in Fiverr and have less chance of being rejected. So make sure you've got a great, good quality profile pic and make sure when you start listing your gigs, you've got a great image or better still, a video of what your gig is and you're going to stand out. So let's have a quick look. Here's that one I was telling you about. I will make you a fluffy, fluffball bunny plushie for $5. They're doing actual physical products here. This person here, and as you can see from their profile pic, it's a picture of them that's very professionally taken. It's uh, very clear and concise. And they actually um, only joined, this is it's created two days ago, and that was not just because this gig was created two days ago, but they actually only just joined Fiverr two days ago. They've got three orders in their queue already. If you just go to this person's profile, here you can say that they said, I'll create you a personal fursona for five bucks. I'll do you a fluff bunny ball and I'll do you a Lion King keychain. So there's three different things here that this girl's prepared to do for you. And the one that's standing out for people at the moment is this one. And funny enough, in fairness, this doesn't look too bad as a drawing, but this is, it stands out. Look how it's just put together. It's a nice collection of images put together. It's clear and concise as to what it's going to be. And she's picked up orders because of it. Even managed to get four likes on Facebook as well. And that probably even helped contribute to her getting on the front page of Fiverr. So even as a newbie, it can be done. This person here, I'll make you PHP scripts. Look, they've got PHP on their arm as the uh, programming language here. Got three in the queue in this case. They've got 57 people have collected the gig. And they're still uh, at a zero level, if you like. They haven't gone up the levels yet, this person. And if we clicked on their profile, now in this case, this person doesn't have a photo of themselves. This one didn't get featured. It doesn't look, it doesn't look the best quality. Because this one stands out and is different, it's managed to get them featured. They've got three in the queue. And they says here, joined five or four months ago. So if we go back to the script, as I said, 57 people. They've had 30 positive reviews so far, and they've not had any negative reviews. Now, that's important. And things you want to watch for as well is leveling up. If you haven't leveled up yet, um, write to customer support and ask them. If you, as long as you've done it within their criteria, there's different reasons. And you'll notice as well sometimes that the number of reviews versus the number of gigs isn't as many. Try to encourage people to give you reviews and feedback where you can, because that'll help you level up through the actual levels of fiber. I can spend all day showing you samples of people. At the end of the day, again, stand out, make videos where you can. And then in the next video, I'm going to go through quickly showing you about the levels within Fiverr and what they mean.